Hello guys, and welcome to today's Food for Thought. Today is Sunday. Um, I just got um, Saturday a comic review out for uh, you guys yesterday, and today is Sunday. Um, yeah, I, I don't have too much for Food for Thought today. I don't have really topics to talk about or anything like that, because been thinking about a topic to trying to get a thing going but uh i just haven't been able to uh articulate anything really worth articulating um yeah i, I just been trying to i got a hold of a couple comics i've been buying online and stuff like that and just other things i'm planning on trying to get a, a vhs player or, and a, well, I have a DVD player and a VHS player. I'm gonna try to get those. I'm gonna try to uh, also customize them into kind of a Gundam ish look, you know, paint them to where they look like a Gundam or something like that. Uh, the colors, the color scheme of a Gundam. So they look all Gundam y, and then I can put some cool rad tad stickers on them or something like that to make them look really cool and have it like a one for one uh vhs player that kind of looks like a gundam or whatever but yeah i think on the modeling video this week we're gonna finally get to these we're gonna depaint these and that's gonna be our goal it's gonna be i don't know how it's gonna work with filming so you, you're just gonna have to bear with me on it and uh hopefully it'll work out because I don't know if I'm going to be able to just set my phone out and record them de-painting the whole time. Uh, we might have to just do a few, a little bit. Maybe I'll plug, I'll plug my phone up and just kind of let it go and it'll record what it records. And when it runs out of space or whatever, recording whatever will go from there but uh yeah i don't think my phone has enough memory or space i've, I've deleted ma majority of the stuff off my phone to get space but um it can only go so far like it's not gonna last all of like a 24 hour span I need to get a video camera for that or a video recorder which i have i just need to get uh also get a uh, with a uh, SD card, uh, a memory card or whatever. So yeah, once I get a hold of those, I'll put that in the camera and hopefully we can get the camera going and get that functioning. Once we get that camera going, hopefully I could start getting some uh, other kind of film, film quality, video quality going on. But until then, I've been using my phone. So everything's just been recorded off my phone. Um, but yeah, uh, we're going to work on these. Uh, we're going to hopefully try to get a hold of some other two. But I really want to see how this, these two are going to turn out with us paint stripping them. I really, uh, I'm going to, uh, I don't know if I'm going to strip these. I should just to find out because they're, really thin or smaller material and see how that works out with stripping them off we're going to start out by i'm going to get a paintbrush and strip it that way so we're, we're going to get a little box here going and i'm going to strip them on on that box i'm going to paint them or paint the stripper on and once i paint the stripper on we'll, we'll watch what happens over time and then after that, we'll, I'll probably end up, if it doesn't strip them all the way, then we'll, uh, we'll get some uh, containers and put them in the containers and watch them in the container, the paint dissolve off in the container. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the plan for uh, the modeling video this week. Um, the pack openings. It's not gonna really be a specific pack that I'll be opening. So tomorrow, or yeah, tomorrow will be the pack opening. But with that, it's gonna be uh, 
so at Walmart they had the mystery kind of uh, thing going on so I grabbed one of those so we don't know exactly what kind of set we'll be pulling from but it'll just be a complete complete mystery uh, because that's the best I could do for what I saw at Walmart instead of just uh, occupying you guys with uh, organizing cards even though we need to get some organization going with the cards and whatnot so yeah that'll be happening but in terms of um content we, we're just we're just plowing through the uh uh the stuff uh, we got i got plenty of content for days i got plenty of collection stuff to do Four days and collection updates and all that stuff we just got uh two packages in this week so hopefully my package the rest of the package will come in this week and then i can do one big gigantic uh opening for you guys and once we get that going it'll be that'll be cool um but yeah next Next month starts school. I also uh, I have uh, stuff I'm gonna work on for school for financial aid and all that other stuff. And so that's what's going on in life. And but yeah, we just had Fourth of July, a fantastic Fourth of July. Uh, spent quite a little bit on Fourth of July, so that's why. Uh, things are cool there in the hunt video you guys saw me pick up uh that donatello and i did the ninja turtle collection update so i'm looking to get uh leonardo and without hopefully i can find i'm not uh, let's be honest i'm not gonna find him somewhere else because they probably have all been snagged and they're kind of hard to get a hold of and they're from i was watching some videos from like four or five months ago I oh got toy hunting they were on shelf then so <laughs> they've uh, clearly been uh, waved out and people have gotten theirs or gotten theirs so I'm probably gonna have to get a hold of a Donna or Leonardo online or something like that maybe try to order it through Walmart for the $12 in price but yeah, I got I got that going on, and then in the video you saw me pick up um, a Spartan collection, and because they had the whole wave, um, uh, I'm gonna let you guys know I picked up two, so we'll end up doing a show and tell on the two. I've started another <laughs> another collection, right? <laughs> so because. Um, with me going the way I see somebody else collects and I want to I want to collect that way I'm going to start getting a hold of uh everything that has a Gundam kind of thing to it so like I'm gonna start collecting VHS's DVDs all that stuff I anything and everything fig pins uh hopefully maybe find some pops which is funny I looked online and um, I looked up pop Gundam pops. Apparently, pops don't have, have a Gundam. Uh, pops are not, haven't done Gundam yet, so I'm, I'm waiting on for that fact. So hopefully, when they drop that line, I can jump right on it and grab some pops or Gundams. Uh, I don't normally. I didn't like the idea of pops, so I was never going to actually buy a pops. But I guess it's kind of grown on me watching other people click. But it, it's not the fact that it'll be me collecting pops. It'll be the fact that I'm collecting a certain type of genre. So I'm trying to do Gundam and Yu-Gi-Oh! And everything in like has to do with that. So, so I can have a nice massive collection there says uh, uh there's one guy I watch and he collects everything, anything and everything. And then my idea, I was walking in a mailbox one day and I was just thinking about things. And a cartoon that I used to watch when I was younger was Looney Tunes. And um, 
I, uh, it was, so this was about the 90s and stuff, so it was kind of catching that in wave of Looney Tunes and whatnot before Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon blew up really big. Um, so uh, I was thinking Looney Tunes, and the the guy gave me an idea because he said that he was start he had a collection going, and um, what he was doing he was collecting everything that was under $20 for that certain type of collection that he was doing. And that gave me kind of an inspired idea to collect uh, Looney Tunes or any kind of figs of that nature for under 20, uh, a price value. So set a price for it and collect it, anything under that. I'm not starting that now, but this is just kind of an idea on what I should kind of go for collecting all that stuff. So. The idea is I need to broaden, not just into figures. I, I need to broaden out into other res, uh, other things. Uh, I really want to do uh, a show and tell on my uh, Pokemon collection. And I got, uh, uh, it's not really a Pokemon collection. Uh, I don't have cards, but I have like the video game. So like, I, I think I have almost all of them besides anything to do with uh, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, or the original stuff. The original stuff is just really hard to get a hold of. And I, when I, I, I was going through a purge thing before I started this YouTube and uh, all that stuff, I was playing on getting rid of everything mostly. Besides, I think my Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I was, I was, I was getting rid of my video games, I was getting rid of my Xbox, I got, I got rid of my Xbox, I got rid of my original Red that I had when I was, uh, a young kid at the, probably 98, 95 area, era, but it didn't have the sticker on it, but it was the original Red, and I ended up selling that, which ended up, in turn, giving me enough money to, because what was going to happen was, I was going to sell everything, I was going to keep the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and I was going to build a workbench in here to start my Gundam models, so I was going to focus primarily on Gundam models, That's, that was the idea, it was just to start on the Gundam models, and then I started doing toy hunts. And I figured, uh, well, I started going out looking because I started watching other people do toy hunts and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And then I, st I needed more content to provide for you guys because just doing model kits and stuff like that wasn't going to plan out. Because believe it or not, I would have probably burned through all of the model kits I have stored back here within the month. It would it, it would have took no problem because especially now that I'm doing it there's no there's no way there there's no possible way and it I would love to but like the way I feel like you have to build the channel is you, you have to get people to come back and watch your stuff and your content to actually get subs because you're not gonna build a channel just by flying through everything and then not have anything else to provide in the end, you know? So right now I need to kind of also shift focus back to kind of to the modeling stuff and the genre of what I'm doing models in. It is uh, not model, uh, yeah, models and Gundams and stuff like that. I, I need to kind of budget it and allotment for just those so like which is kind of true because every every month i have gotten a massive amount of models so it's not like i haven't budgeted it's just next month i'm buying I, I just it's like i'll probably end up getting one model kit and the rest of the budget is going to go into purchasing other merchandise like shirts uh, DVDs, VHSs, uh, just anything and everything I can get my hands on to have to do with uh, uh, Gundam genre. So that's what uh, that's what my ultimate goal is: is to try to get that go kicked off and going. Um, 
I'm going to try to get a hold of the two uh, figures from the Spartan collection that I have left. So that'll happen too as well. And then, uh, but that's that's the plan for next month. It is it is next month is more going to go into uh, a vintage slash uh, thrift kind of area. I'll still do the regular toy hunts uh, at the big box stores to see what's going on, but I'm going to also be hitting up a lot of thrift stuff and trying to get a hold of uh, some classic stuff that's been kind of tossed to the side for like a dollar or something. If it's got, have anything to do with anything. And then also I've been I'm thinking about grabbing older, uh, not older, but like very cheap DVDs sitting around and stuff like that of comics. I'm not going to be grabbing like, um, let's say, uh, some of the movies that like uh, you would think I would grab like really good movies but like if it, it has a personal touch uh, touch to it like Big Daddy or uh, which I already kind of have but uh, like stuff like that like uh, Jim Carrey movies Adam Sandler movies uh, any, any any movies that I watched when I was younger and was like yeah this is a really good movie I'm, I'm gonna grab them, but they're not going into like any collection. Most of the movies and shows I'll be grabbing is like uh, cartoonish anime or um, uh, collecting. You know, you could build a collection off of Lord of the Rings. Any, 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 anything, any movies like that, like collector's editions and stuff like that for very cheap and try to get a hold of them and see what condition they are and preserve them at the stage that they are and if they're incomplete try to get a hold of another collection uh, another one that I can complete off of and maybe sell the the end off to somebody else who's looking and maybe trying to collection combine or whatever but yeah that's that's my idea for the DVD VHS stuff because I already ended up getting two VHSs uh, or three VHSs. Well, um, I ended up grabbing a hold of uh, two Power Rangers and uh, another VHS. Let me get a quick Oh, and <laughs> the best kind of uh, VHS that. Uh, has to do with like action figures movie. It's a movie with action figures. So I'll have to do a, a, a collection update with the, the VHSs and DVDs and stuff like that. And what, what I'm trying to accomplish with that, which is kind of interesting because eventually I will have enough sp space to design a collection room or an area to where I can display my collection and I really want to go uh, to the wall with it. I really want to go deep and I have to have the merchandise and the stuff to actually do and display to go behind. So I figured having DVDs and stuff in that genre will also help fill the, the empty gaps. You can't, I, I, I I want to have empty gaps that make sense, but like if it's just an empty gap because I got nothing to put there when I can get something to put there, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, it's, it just all goes back to like one guy I'm watching and he's, his collection is pristine. Like it, he's got all kinds of stuff just collected over the years and it, it makes me, he makes me jealous. Uh, it, it really puts into perspective of how much time you actually just wasted just throwing stuff away or getting rid of stuff or not even putting uh, some emphasis on keeping things. And if you would have done that, you would have unique stuff because what I'm almost 30 years old, so I could have stuff that was 30 years old. Like I used, um, me and my brother used to have 
the GB, uh, the Game Boy games and Red and Blue and uh, all the way up. I used to have Sapphire and em uh, not Emerald, but I had Sapphire and Ruby and uh, the two. Uh, we had Silver and Gold and even Crystal. We had we had all that stuff. And if you just if I would have kept a hold of it and realized where they uh, just kept up with this collection, I would have a decently nice collection of stuff. I had toys galore and just, just stuff that we've gotten broken or gotten rid of. And, but he, he's kept a really nice collection over the years. So I got a lot of catching up slash, um, keeping up <laughs> to do. And that's the plan. But yeah, um, just a quick little update on that. Uh, gone for 20 minutes. There ain't no need for me to keep going and rambling. Uh, like I said, I was going to do, uh, I, I thought it was going to be really quick because I didn't have no substance to it. And then we found some substance along the way of talking about um, just a few things. But uh, yeah, um, remember always leave a like if you can sub if you can it always helps it, it, it you might not think it's a big thing but it's a big thing for me and it's a big thing for others if you can do it and i understand if you can't it's it's not it's not too bad so sad but it, it's it just helps us along the way and it tells YouTube to send our stuff out to other people, not just you or anybody else. So it, 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 you know, analytics, how it works and just how everything is connected. So when you say, I like this, it has a bunch of people that kind of relatively like the same things you like, and it'll send it out to them. But yeah, comment or, uh, 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 leave a like, sub if you uh, sub. It always helps, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.